Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are taking a look at two brand new Civivis that dropped today, available right now, links below. Now, what we have here are not brand new models. They're actually new versions, but they're very different. We have a new lock. We have significant improvements made to this model here. I can't say these are both two of the best Civivis ever made because this one here, I actually was not very, I, I wasn't too hot on this one when it first came out. This updated version has really, really changed my mind on that. Uh, was really impressed with this here. We're gonna do this one last and uh, we're gonna hop into this one here, which I knew I was gonna like. And I was actually slightly more impressed than I thought I'd be with this. Um, but before I open this, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along. I will continue to bring you the content and let's see what we have here. You guys probably know what it is. It's the Praxis with a button lock and it's really, really stinking good. Um, now there's nothing really new and profound about this Praxis with the exception of the button lock. Everything else is exactly the same. Um, and when it comes to, uh, Let's do some quick size comparisons here. In case anyone has never handled the Praxis, maybe you've handled the Towser K, or you've probably most likely handled the Civivi Conspirator if you haven't handled the Towser K, because those are two of the best Civivis ever made, along with one of the better Kaisers ever made right there. But as you can see, the Praxis is a big knife. It's long, um, and it's just so, so nice and slicey. Uh, love everything about the Praxis, really. I actually love the Praxis so much um, I got the Caviso exclusive Wii Praxis, and then I also have the Ultim Praxis. So I wanted to put this out there. Look at this little Praxis family. This, this is one good looking family right here. Uh, amazing knife. I love the Praxis. It's easily one of my favorite Civivis to have ever come out. And there actually is another big change to this that I should specify as well, because there is another upgrade in the blade material, which we haven't seen with the exception of the Caviso, Caviso exclusive Praxis, which is an S35VN. All of the Civivi pra Praxises to this point, to the best of my knowledge before this, were all in 9CR18MOV, which is, you know, it's okay. It's a budget steel, whatever. Uh, this right here has a blade steel of Nitro V. So you finally get a nice blade steel upgrade in a budget Praxis, which is amazing. Uh, some other quick specs on this. We have an overall length of 8.62 inches, blade length of 3.75 inches, and a handle length of 4.87 inches. The weight is 3.94 ounces, and the price on this guy is so good. $74.80. Um, you know, I say a lot of good things about Kaiser and Vosteed and Artisan Cutlery, but when it comes to that $65 to $75 mark, especially with the button locks, I really don't think anyone's doing a better job than Civivi. Um, there's a lot of other manufacturers, the ones I just mentioned. I love a lot of their designs and models, and there's a lot of good things about them. But the button lock, the consistency of the button lock action on Civivis um, are just insanely good. Especially, again, we're talking 75 bucks here, $74.80. Um, really, really impressed with this flipping action as well as the button lock in general. It has a nice tension. Um, there's very little stick. Uh, there is a little stick, but very, very little Um Extremely enjoyable button lock action. Uh, we are looking at 16 thousandths behind the edge on this guy, which is pretty much what you have on all the Praxises. Um, and man, oh man, between the Nitro V steel and the button lock added to this, um, this is, I think, by far and away the best Praxis to ever come out under $100. I know there's been a lot of other versions, uh, but when it comes to under 100 this is it for me. Now, there are a few different options in terms of the handle. All the handles are aluminum, and I will say I really like this aluminum handle. Um, I really like the raw version because it's going to show a little less scratches. There's a neon green or like a lime green, which I thought was pretty cool, but I just, I really, really like the uh, kind of the all neutral colors here going on. Uh, man, oh man, does that feel so stinking good in the hand. Um, and when it comes to the finish on this, this is right in the middle of, like, I, I can't say it's grippy. It's definitely not grippy. 
Um, and I'm trying to think if it reminds me of like a ProTech. Let's see here. I got the... Yeah, so it's it it doesn't have quite as much grip as Protec. I feel like Protec's aluminum handles have a little more of a like a tackiness to them. I feel like the aluminum on the Civivi is just a little smoother, but it's not slippery. That's the the biggest point I want to get across as well. I wish it did have a little more of that velvety feel that you get on on the Protex. Um, and I don't know if that is because of like just the finish or like the certain type of media they blast or what they do to this to get this this velvet finish on the aluminum um but it's really nice and this has a good finish it like i said it's not slippery but it's not quite where like a pro tech is but it's still good i mean again we're talking 74 dollars and 80 cents um so yeah definitely nothing to complain about and in terms of just that overall traction and grip it's great i mean especially if you're not using the toil and you're just holding it down here uh, very safe and secure in the hand, and yeah, it's the Praxis. I mean, you guys, I don't think there's really much else to say about this other than it's got a button lock and Nitro V steel, and it's it's seventy four dollars and eighty cents. I mean, that's really really good, and the overall finish on this, oh man, oh man, I could keep flipping this blade uh, all night. Like fantastic action, great great knife. Uh, let me know of all the prax praxises that, pra yeah, praxises, that's kind of a word bender. Um, but of all the praxises, let me know which one so far is your favorite. Um, when it comes to the under hundred dollar mark, this is definitely it for me. Um, I love that Caviso exclusive, but that one is, you know, more closer to the $200 range. So, um, for the money you're paying for this, it is one phenomenal deal. And I'm assuming they made a lot of these, but I don't know. This could be one with Christmas right on the corner. I could maybe see it selling out quick. Um, I think a lot of people are going to like it. Um, there is also a Damascus version, which we'll talk, we'll go back to the Damascus version in just a second. But that is the Praxis button lock. And the next one here... This one was really surprising to me. I, 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 I requested this one just kind of out of default because it was interesting. I thought the Damascus was interesting. But what we have here is the Chevalier 2 and the improvements to this knife. Um, like I said it, before I opened either one of these uh, pouches, the improvements to this Chevalier 2... Um, has really changed my mind about this knife. Uh, first, let's do some quick uh, specs. We have an overall length of 7.98 inches, uh, blade length at 3.47 inches with the handle length at 4.52 inches. Uh, we have blade material is obviously Damascus on this version. And I specifically got Damascus because I love that Damascus pattern. Um, but the non-Damascus versions come in 14C28N, so really good stuff. Uh, weight 3.18 ounces and the price so the price for the Damascus version is $93.50 but if you get the version with 14c 28n you're looking at $69.70 which is stupid good um, let's do a quick size comparison with this one because it's been a while since I've handled the Chevalier uh, here's we'll just bring the Praxis back out I think that'll pretty much do it uh, Praxis and then one more just to just to have the the size sandwich comparison, uh, there you go, the Conspirator and the Praxis, uh, just a little shorter than both of those two. But this Chevalier, when I reviewed the first Chevalier that came out, um, it was very middle of the road for me. I was not really that impressed. Uh, the detent was soft. The scale material was not very nice. I think I either got a wood or micarta one. Neither one was very impressive to me. Um, but this, with the aluminum handle and... That detent is night and day better. Uh, excellent detent, great flipper tab. Again, you got that perfect Civivi jimping that makes this so easy to kick that blade out. And this blade, oh my God, this blade. 16 thousandths behind the edge and look at this plunge grind. Look at how thin that is. I mean, it gets thin it well behind the cutting edge, stays thin. Uh, going to be a great knife to sharpen and maintain. Look at how thin that is. That is an excellent plunge grind. Such good details on a $69 knife. I mean, it it's Civivi. I guess I should expect it. But man, oh man, 
uh, is this one really, it's really changed my mind with this model. Um, I thoroughly enjoy this. Um, I think maybe the blade shape was a little boring to me, but now with this Damascus pattern, oh, I love this Damascus pattern. Speaking of the Praxis Damascus, I really, really wish... Uh, so the Damascus version of the Praxis is a lot different. It's 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 kind of it's not really my thing. I guess is the best way to put it. It's it's not this pattern. It's a very blotchy, spotty pattern of Damascus, which I've never. I don't think I've ever seen it on a Sabibi before. But I can't say I'm a fan. So that's why I got the uh, Nitro V version of this because really, really big fan of Nitro V. And of course, it's just a great knife. But I really wish. Can you imagine this Damascus pattern on this blade? Oh, would have been so so nice. But that's okay. Um, I like the Nitro V version, but this Damascus on this blade really, like, just elevates the blade for me. Um, it's already going to have a very, very slicey cutting geometry. It's going to be very nice to use. Uh, not so much for piercing, but just any other type of EDC task, draw cuts, regular cuts, whatever cuts. Uh, it's going to be really good at, and man, oh man, I, I can't help but keep looking back down on that plunge grind. So, so nice. Um, just a beautiful looking blade. And yeah, that Dam I want to see that Damascus pattern on a lot more Civivis. Uh, just as good on the aluminum handle. Feels very nice in the hand. Clip is fine. Uh, yeah. And the, the biggest thing that I took away from this one, though, was the action. Because the, at the detent on the first Chevalier 2, the first Chevalier I had, um, the, at the, the, uh, blah, blah, the, the flipping action, the detent was just not there. The detent was, was relatively soft, uh, night and day difference on this one. Really, really enjoy that flipping action. And of course that fuller there, you can, whoop, you, you can middle finger flick the fuller. Um, just got to get a little comfortable for you, but yeah, very, very easy to middle finger flick that. And, uh, yeah, feels very good. So, uh, Really, really happy with this one. And two very solid offerings. You know, the Civivi drops, they don't have quite as many knives in this drop. But just these two alone uh, make for one incredible drop month for Civivi. Really, really like both of these. You guys let me know which one your favorite is. I honestly don't think I can pick a favorite between these two. Um, I will definitely be holding on to the Chevalier 2 because this is really like this, this version right here. It's really changed my 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 total opinion of this knife. I went from not caring about it at all to where it was kind of an afterthought to where it is like, man, I, I, I don't think I'm going too far to say this might be one of my 10 favorite Civivis I've ever handled. And that's kind of weird for me to say right now. So I'm going to let that kind of stew a little. I'm going to hold on to this for sure, though, um, and just see how it kind of continues to rub off on me. Uh, but the Praxis is, you know, it's a Praxis, it's a home run. The Praxis is great, however they make it. Um, and that's that, guys. Let me know what you think of these two. Which one do you like more? Which one uh, would you like to pick up? Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Got a lot of content coming your way. Stay tuned, hit the subscribe button. And until the next one, I'm out.